Let me just finish my way so we can proceed with episode 5 of the Hashtag Cabin Crew 101. Alright, we're up on our 5th episode this week and um, I'll go straight to the topic. Alright, the question will be popping out here. He said, Hi Dio, a Cabin Crew Planet here. <laughs> anyway, I just want to get some tips on how to ace a Cabin Crew interview. Can you give us some examples of questions and how to answer it? If you guys have seen episode 4 wherein I talked about the AirAsia X open day interview uh, that happened last February 3 to February 7. So this week, it, it's, it's kind of um, a workaround on that. So about the interviews and all, I made an effort to, to reach out out to one of the cabin crew executives of Philippines Air Asia and, and ask him questions regarding the interview about what do they really want, what are they really looking for. We'll have a different perspective from someone on the other side and not just from the applicants, not just from a cabin crew's point of view, but from someone who is actually conducting an interview. So I asked him a few questions and all. So a special shout out to Mr. Makoy Jimenez. Thank you so much for answering my questions. And uh, yeah, the five tips tips that I'll be sharing in this video basically came from his answers. Here we go, the five tips on how to ace a cabin crew interview. Just a little disclaimer though, even though you follow the five tips, means then, you know, if it's really not yet your time, it's not yet your time, but don't lose hope, you, you will still get that job as long as you just keep on doing, keep on pushing, you know? Yeah, here we go. Tip number one. Research. Like what I said in my previous video, prepare. Research. Know your stuff. Don't go to battle unprepared. Know about the airline's mission and vision, airline's destination, airline's background, CO background. Basically, any information that you can get from that company or airline. Don't go into battle unprepared. Don't go into battle without any weapon just like in any job interview that you wish to go to you should have a reason why you want to be with this company make the panelists feel and know that you did your job prior the interview you did your research and you know what to say in front of them impress them so research destination CEO mission vision background check the latest articles on the internet their newest destinations or whatnot so know know the company all right tip number two use your words wisely in the interview process expect different types of questions to be thrown at you from from simple questions like what's your favorite color where'd you go to school to political questions and there will be stages of interviews and initial stages would usually consist of questions like why do you want to be a cabin crew and why did you choose this company to answer these questions basically brings me back to to what I said in the previous video you should know yourself you should know your reason why do you want to be a cabin crew and to be part of the airline but a few pointers that Sir McCoy told me is be careful with your words for example AirAsia's a, a, a low-cost company never ever 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 mention that it's a cheap airline don't answer these uh, don't be like these people why did you choose this airline why did you choose our airline I want to be in your company because uh, you're the cheapest airline okay I like tried in different airlines but I failed there so I kind of have like no option but to go here so yeah I, I'm applying in your airline do you know anything about this airline? At least, I, uh, I don't know anything about your airline, but uh, I really want to be an FA, so I hope you can consider me. <laughs> Initial part is where they usually grill and filter out many people as much as possible, so your words your answers can really make or break you. All right? Just be careful. Make it sound positive. Don't say cheap. You can say it like this. I believe in Air Asia that service doesn't have to be low cost. Yes, we are a low we are a low cost company, but service and the quality of service doesn't have to be low cost. That's why you guys, I mean Air Asia, that's why Air Asia won 
the best low-cost airline for nine years consecutive. So don't ever say cheap. Yes, they have affordable tickets, but this example is not just for Air Asia, but with other low-cost airlines as well. Never make the panelist or the airline feel like they're your last option or your last choice. But you can say it in a way like, I've failed a couple of times. I've failed from different airline interviews and I just know, I just believe that I'm really meant for your airline and your company. That's why I I, I didn't get that job in, in that airline. It's about play of words. It's about packaging your words. Tip number three. This is quite long. Experience doesn't always mean that you're better than the others. Sir McCoy highlighted that uh, usually those who have flying experience or the so-called ex-crew who came from different airlines and applied to a new one feels and thinks like they have an, an edge or they're better than the other newbie applicants. But yes, it is a fact that you guys have, we rather because I'm an ex-crew, we have experience, we have the idea of the job, but that doesn't make you better than anyone else. That doesn't make you a standout. That just brings more eyes on you for you to say the right words. Everyone's just looking at quoting Sir McCoy that they are more particular with X crew and those who have experience with a job. So tip number four. Boom. First impressions last. You guys always hear it and it's not any different when it comes to a job interview or a cabin crew interview. Before you go to any interview, any job interview or a cabin crew interview in this matter, you should prepare, you should take time, you should think about on what you're going to wear on the interview date. It's critical. Be sure it fits you properly. It's appropriate for the interview. Make sure it brings you confidence. Be sure you can carry it well. Here's one thing that I wouldn't forget that my college mentor told me. The moment you walk in a room, you're already speaking for yourself. The way you walk, the way you look, the way you move, your gestures, by the way you stand in front of the panelists and the interviewers, it's already speaking for you. You're already telling them who are you. Sir McCoy also told me that yes, well, it, it is a fact that in the Philippines, looks really do matter when it comes to this uh, industry. Looks physically, they really do consider that, especially in the Philippines. And usually it's 70-30 ratio, 70% for looks and 30% for the rest. But do not underestimate personality because there are a lot of applicants who make it because of their personality and confidence. Which brings me to tip number five. Have confidence and personality. Personal tip. This is my favorite tip because in any cabin crew interview or in any job interview, in life or in whatever you do, confidence and personality works hand in hand. One could not function well. One could not function well without the other. Having just confidence and no personality makes you look like a cocky person or someone, someone who's just overflowing with confidence and no personality. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know people who are overflowing with confidence and lacks personality. And on the other hand, someone who has a personality and zero confidence, uh, how can you show that awesome personality of yours if you're too shy and you're too close to, to, to even speak and express yourself? So it's a good mixture of both, confidence and personality. Personally, I use it in life. Sometimes during auditions, during castings, VTRs, all that gets me through it is just having that right amount of confidence even though I'm, I'm insecure as hell. Just have that confidence and personality. Trusting yourself that you have what it takes. Those are, are, are my five tips to ace a cabin crew interview based on uh, legitimacy. Well, wow, legitimacy. I'm pretty sure that uh, the information that I shared and that came from someone who is legit. I just want to end this um, video with, with words from Sir McCoy, quoting him, Do your research. At least you will be able to make us listen to what you have to say. Bring a lot of personality and look the part. Knowing who you really are and what you have to offer to the company will give you an advantage. But ultimately, come to the interview having a mindset like you're already a part of the airline, an actual cabin crew. Feel it. It'll make 
a big difference. So yeah, basically um, a wrap up of what ev of, of everything that I just uh, discussed. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys learned something from everything that I said. If you guys have any more questions, topic suggestions, if you guys want to know anything, put it down on the comment section below. Yeah, um, don't forget to smile always, be happy, good luck and uh, see you on the next episode of Hashtag Kevin Crew 101. Bye. Ciao. Au revoir. Oh, I mean it. Woo.